All right, Revolt TV, I'm here in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lair. I mean, it's everything, basketball, video games, everything's here in the lair. And shouts out, rest in peace to the man John Barry, founding member of the Beastie Boys who put the track No Sleep Till Brooklyn with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But we're here to talk to the cast of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. And you're going to catch all the interviews right here on Revolt TV. So y'all stay tuned. I'm about to play these boom boxes, play some basketball. I'm going to be right back at you. Guys, I got a lead on what's going on. Sleep till Brooklyn! We'll build an army. Sleep till Brooklyn! <laughs> You're up, guys. <laughs> Bring it back to Mohawk. Good for you. Oh, oh, oh. y'all got jokes, huh? Gunchuck's gigantic Do you want to go down swinging? These guys hit harder than anyone. Those things are pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, pretty awesome! Alright, you guys, uh, I mean, known as the knuckleheads on, on the set, and y'all bringing all these, these iconic villains <laughs> to the screen. Like, first is, uh, my first question you got, I know y'all the villain side, but if y'all was one of the turtles, which of your personalities most fits which turtle? Gotta be the smart guy, man. Cause I'm brilliant. You're brilliant. I'm brilliant. Well, we all know that. Man. I know the answer to every question. <laughs> every question. And yeah, I look I, good yeah, in purple. To tell him. And I look good in purple. Very good in purple. So bam. Good good ass. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm more subsided to the Michelangelo character, even though kind of there's a bit of raft there too, you know. Yeah. But I think the, the the Michelangelo character is just so much fun, so carefree, and just just having fun. But may I say this: that a lot of America and countries abroad might not know about you. Before you got in wrestling, you were a techie dude, right? I was an IT. He was an IT dude. Mm. So don't tell me there's not a little bit of so probably the greatest IT technician of all time. I actually had a T-shirt that said Employee of the Month that wow. I wore every month. <laughs> wow, that was your That's own <laughs> your own T-shirt. Yeah, I bought it, but I, I firmly <laughs> believe that I deserve that T-shirt as Employee of the Month. You That's deserved how, it. That's how good I was. Look, if I can buy I, it, I deserve to wear it. I think I broke more computers than I fixed in IT. <laughs> <laughs> people, people, shame and smash. <laughs> <laughs> People would literally be afraid to call in case I, you know, they, they say, no, no, there's nothing wrong with my computer, just so I wouldn't go down. Oh, you would just go down and go, your computer's working. Yeah. It's working fine. Why just, would you just, talk just, like a black just, man just, when you got <laughs> mad? Yeah, when Irish people get working. mad, they get yeah, real that, black. Yeah, the computer's working. Working fine. <laughs> but they have no time to talk like this. Hello, I'm Shabash. That's exactly how I sound. Yeah. When he talks, he's, he's I feel like, voice, did right? I just say something? <laughs> and that's what happened when you say your computer fine. I thought that was, <laughs> thought that was me. Sensei Shredder. This will help us build an army. It needs to be synthesized, which is where you come in. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good! <laughs> And you're a... Uh, I don't know what you are. <laughs> let me look, let me look, let me look. I'm a... Oh, I'm a little piggy. I like it! <laughs> me too. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has been like a great franchise yeah. for generations and yeah. everything. So I know you're familiar with the turtles probably intimately. When you look at yourself, like which turtle are you most like, you would think? Hmm. I, I, I think there's a little bit of all of them in me. I'm, I'm, I'm funny, I'm grumpy, I'm... I'm smart, I'm not so smart, you know, at times. I think I've got a little bit of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. What I've enjoyed about your career, I mean, you've done so much now with TV and the playwrights and the movies, but to see you as an actor and Alice Cross and Gone Girl and now this, how has these characters, like, added to you creatively to be a part of these other projects and franchises? Like For me, you know, a lot of it's about learning. So a lot of times when I'm taking this on, I'm thinking, how much can I learn on these sets? Mm -hmm. In a budget this big, I just want to see how all the special effects and all this stuff work. So they all have been teaching tools, every one of them. It's been great, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys don't really want to do this again, right? Doesn't usually work out well for you guys.
Where to go? Thank you. What's your name? Casey Jones. What's that? Casey Jones. Stacy Moans. Oh. Uh, Casey Jones. Hey. So everybody gets excited about you know the Marvel universe. We know that you're a big actor in uh, Arrow in the, in the DC comic universe. Yeah. But there's also this turtle universe that exists for, for comic book fans. And how how big do you think that universe is growing or the fan base for that? that do you think they, they don't get the credit that Marvel and DC gets? Well, I think they're going to get the credit because I feel like we nailed it with this movie. Yeah, right? did. Yeah, and I did. feel like we nailed it from the perspective of this is a universe, right? Yeah. We got Shredder, we got Crane, we got Bebop, we got Rocksteady, we got Casey Jones, we got the Turtles, April O'Neil, Vern. We, 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 we didn't scrape the cupboard bare, yeah. but we brought all our friends to this movie and treated it like, like what I think you should treat these movies like, which is, why don't you come to the theater, why you have some popcorn, why don't you sit back and be entertained for yeah. 96 minutes or whatever. What's the running time, do we know? 112 minutes, like I said. I was close, right? <laughs> was like, close, bro. you know, come, have a really good time. And, and we did that in this movie. So I think that, I think that, you know, if there is a success out of, uh, you know, out of the shadows, th then maybe we can, uh, you know, move more in the direction of what they've done. <laughs>